On July 3, 2025, NASA lost visual contact with Comet 3I Atlas just as it accelerated toward a potential Mars impact zone, traveling over 130,000 miles per hour. This wasn't just another distant speck. This was only the third interstellar object ever spotted in our solar system, and its hyperbolic trajectory instantly triggered alarm across planetary defense teams. Authorities raced to recover lost data, but the visual blackout left a critical gap as the object's course veered closer to Mars than any interstellar visitor before. If the world's leading space agency can lose track of something so rare and fast, what might we be missing about events unfolding right now? The answer starts at the moment everything went dark. NASA's tracking systems are designed for objects moving at tens of thousands of miles per hour, but 3i slash Atlas was something else entirely. This interstellar comet, clocked at over 130,000 miles per hour, pushed the limits of every sensor and algorithm in the planetary defense arsenal. Losing visual contact with an object moving this fast isn't just a technical hiccup. It's a moment when the world's best tools fall silent, leaving a blank stretch in the record while the unknown streaks forward unchecked. The term visual blackout in space science doesn't mean total blindness. It's a gap in the stream of images and data that ground teams rely on to model an object's position and speed. For 3i slash Atlas, that gap meant that, for a window of critical minutes or hours, no telescope on Earth or in orbit could confirm its exact location. The Minor Planet Center, the global clearinghouse for asteroid and comet positions, had no new coordinates to post. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, usually able to update trajectory maps in near real time, was forced to wait for the next possible sighting. In those moments, even the most advanced orbit models become educated guesses. Adding to the urgency, this was not a routine case of a comet lost in the sun's glare or hidden behind a planet. 3i slash Atlas was on a hyperbolic path, an escape route from the solar system, yet its course was now veering closer to Mars than any interstellar object ever recorded. The blackout left planetary defense teams with a shrinking margin for error. Calculations that had once projected a safe flyby now carried a shadow of doubt. If trajectory data slipped even a fraction, the difference could mean a harmless pass or a direct hit on Martian orbiters, or even the planet's surface itself. At NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, the stakes were clear. Losing track of a 33 billion ton object, even temporarily, is a reminder that space is not just vast, it's unpredictable. The blackout forced experts to rely on indirect clues, gravitational models, last known velocity vectors, and the hope that another observatory, perhaps the European Space Agency's Deep Sky Network, would catch a new glimpse before the window closed for good. This kind of operational blackout is rare, but not unprecedented. Previous interstellar visitors like 1i slash Oumuamua and 2i slash Borisov both slipped through periods of low visibility, but neither approached a planetary impact zone. The difference with 3i slash Atlas is the speed, the mass, and the margin for error. When a cosmic bullet this size goes missing, even for a short time, every second counts. For planetary defense teams and space fans alike, the blackout was a wake-up call. If you want to see how the world's best scientists respond to a missing interstellar object, now is the time to subscribe and stay tuned. The story of 3i slash Atlas is just beginning. On July 1, 2025, a faint, fast-moving point of light appeared in the nightly survey data from the Atlas telescope in Chile. At first, it looked like just another long-period comet, but the orbit calculations told a different story. The numbers showed a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning this object wasn't bound to our solar system at all. It was traveling so fast and on such a steep path that no amount of solar gravity could ever pull it back. That's the signature of an interstellar visitor, only the third ever confirmed after 1i slash Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i slash Borisov in 2019. The initial detection was quickly confirmed by follow-up observations and a review of earlier survey images. Astronomers traced its trail back to June 14, 2025, finding faint pre-discovery exposures in archived data. Each new data point tightened the orbit 
and each calculation reinforced the same conclusion. This was a true interstellar comet, now officially catalogued as 3i slash Atlas. What set 3i slash Atlas apart wasn't just its origin, but its speed. Early measurements put its inbound velocity at over 130,000 miles per hour, much faster than typical comets or asteroids. That kind of speed means less time to react, less time to observe, and fewer chances to gather data as it races past the inner planets. The Atlas team, led by astronomers at the University of Hawaii, immediately flagged the object for global follow-up. Within hours, the Minor Planet Center issued a discovery alert and telescopes from Arizona to Australia began tracking the comet's position and brightness. The hyperbolic orbit was more than a mathematical curiosity. It meant that 3 i atlas was only passing through, never to return. Its path would take it deep inside the orbit of Mars before slingshotting back out into interstellar space. For planetary defense teams and comet scientists alike, this was a rare gift and a race against time. Every observation counted, because once it was gone, there would be no second chance. The rarity of interstellar objects like 3i slash Atlas can't be overstated. Before 2017, none had ever been seen. Now, with survey technology improving, each new detection is a scientific event. The discovery in July 2025 set off a coordinated effort across continents and space agencies all focused on capturing as much information as possible before the comet disappeared for good. The need for continuous tracking became obvious from the start, as the object's speed and trajectory left little margin for error. The world's best telescopes, data analysts, and orbit modelers were suddenly working on the same clock, chasing a visitor from beyond the stars. Ground-based observatories tracking 3i slash Atlas faced an unavoidable problem as the comet closed in on the inner solar system. Between October 1st and 15th, the solar elongation angle, the separation between the comet and the Sun as seen from Earth, dropped below 30 degrees. For astronomers, that's the point where a target gets dangerously close to the Sun's glare, making it nearly impossible to observe with optical telescopes. This wasn't a matter of faulty equipment or missed opportunities, it was pure geometry, dictated by the orbits of Earth, Mars, and the incoming comet. During this window, even the most sensitive instruments, like those at Las Campanas or Siding Spring, could only catch brief, low-altitude glimpses of 3 i atlas just after sunset or before sunrise, and only from the southern hemisphere. Most observatories simply couldn't point their telescopes low enough to the horizon without risking damage from daylight or atmospheric distortion. The comet was effectively hidden in the sun's glare, out of reach from all but a handful of locations, and even then, only for a few precious minutes each night. As October 21st approached, the situation became even more restrictive. That date marked solar conjunction for 3i slash Atlas, the moment when the comet passed almost directly behind the sun from Earth's perspective. For several days before and after, no ground-based telescope could separate the faint light of the comet from the overwhelming brightness of the solar corona. The blackout was total, not because of any system failure, but because the laws of celestial mechanics had drawn a curtain across the sky. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory ran visibility models to predict these blind spots well in advance, mapping out when and where the comet would disappear from view. The blackout was expected, but the timing could not have been worse. The window of lost visibility overlapped almost exactly with the period when 3i slash Atlas was making its closest approach to Mars, a phase when any change in trajectory would have the greatest impact on planetary defense calculations. For ground crews, the blackout meant relying on their last confirmed data points and waiting for the comet to reappear in the dawn sky. There was no workaround, no technology capable of peering through the sun. The operational challenge was clear. For two crucial weeks, the world's best astronomers had to trust their models and hope that nothing about 3i slash Atlas changed while it was hidden from view. The next surprise would not come from a telescope, but from the chemistry of the comet itself. On July 20th, 2025, 
the Very Large Telescope in Chile caught something that left comet scientists puzzled. Spectral data showed a strong signature of nickel gas, 4.6 grams per second, rising from 3 yam i slash atlas as it approached the inner solar system. That's not what anyone expected. In most comets, iron and nickel appear together, released from dust grains as sunlight heats the nucleus. But here, iron was missing or vanishingly faint. Only as the comet neared 2.6 astronomical units from the Sun did faint hints of iron finally appear, and even then, the nickel outnumbered it by a wide margin. Adding to the mystery, the VLT measured cyanide gas escaping at 17.6 grams per second, a normal rate for a comet at this distance. But the nickel was far above typical levels, and the sharp rise in its production as the comet moved inward didn't fit standard models. For most solar system comets, these metals stay locked in dust until much closer to the Sun. The chemistry of 3i slash Atlas, it seemed, was running on its own script. The nucleus of the comet, hidden inside a bright dusty coma, only added to the uncertainty. Hubble imaging suggested a diameter somewhere between 0.32 and 5.6 kilometers, a huge range, driven by the glare of the surrounding gas and dust. If the nucleus is on the small end, it's a lightweight compared to other interstellar visitors. But if it's closer to 5 kilometers, the object could weigh in at 33 billion tons, making it one of the most massive interstellar objects ever observed. Every new measurement forced scientists to question their assumptions about what 310i slash Atlas really is. For planetary defense analysts, this level of uncertainty is more than an academic puzzle. The mass and composition of an object determine how it moves, how it might break up, and what kind of risk it could pose if it ever crossed paths with a planet or spacecraft. The odd chemistry, nickel without iron, raises questions about the comet's origin, its past, and even the processes that shaped it before it entered our solar system. As the data poured in from the VLT and other observatories, the story of 3R slash Atlas shifted from a simple tracking challenge to a deeper scientific mystery. The comet's behavior was rewriting the rules, forcing researchers to rethink what they thought they knew about interstellar visitors. And as it drifted closer to Mars, the need for answers urgent. On October 3, 2025, as 3i Atlas neared its closest approach to Mars, just 0.19 astronomical units away, the world's planetary defense network braced for impact. At NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office, the atmosphere was taut. Analysts weighed every variable. The comet's mass, its unpredictable chemistry, and the troubling blackout in observational data. A single miscalculation could threaten Mars orbiters, or, in a worst-case scenario, the surface itself. At the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies ran non-stop simulations. Data streamed in from the Minor Planet Center in Cambridge, which compiled and published every new sighting from ground-based surveys like ATLAS and PANSTARS. European Space Agency tracking teams fed in their own radar and optical measurements. JPL analysts worked through the night, updating the comet's predicted path and uncertainty zone as new information arrived, or as they were forced to rely on older, less reliable data. The Minor Planet Center served as a global clearinghouse, ensuring that even the faintest detection was logged and shared. ESA's Space Operations Center in Darmstadt coordinated with NASA and the International Asteroid Warning Network. If one agency lost track of the comet, another could fill the gap. PANSTARS telescopes in Hawaii and the ATLAS survey in Chile strained to spot 3i slash ATLAS as it skirted the sun's glare. The effort became a relay, each agency covering the blind spots of the others. With the Mars window narrowing, teams reviewed contingency plans. Mars Orbiters, MAVEN, Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, and ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter stood ready to scan for the comet from above the Martian atmosphere. Even a slight deviation in 3i slash Atlas's course could mean the difference between a harmless flyby and disaster. Some astronomers speculated, 
Had a sudden outburst of gas or dust caused the blackout? Or was the sun simply blocking Earth's view? Until new data arrived, uncertainty ruled. The blackout became a test of global readiness, shaping the future of planetary defense. Official records tell a story of missing pieces. Even as 3i-slash-Atlas swept past Mars, the public timeline is punctuated by unexplained silences. Intervals where no images, spectra, or positional data have been released by NASA, the European Space Agency, or the Minor Planet Center. For a comet of this significance, those blank stretches raise important questions. The perihelion, when 3i-slash-Atlas comes closest to the Sun, is set for October 29, 2025, at precisely 11.44 Universal Time. Yet, as that moment approaches, there is still no published confirmation of direct observations from key missions like Parker Solar Probe or Solar Orbiter. The same is true for Mars Orbiter imaging during the closest approach. After perihelion, the comet should reappear in Earth's pre-dawn sky by November, gradually brightening as it moves away from the Sun. But as of early November, there are no official updates from the major observatories, and the Minor Planet Center's database remains sparse on recovery astrometry. For anyone following the path of 3i slash Atlas, these gaps are more than just technical footnotes. They are open invitations to investigate. The public record is built on what agencies choose to release. When those releases stall, the only way to fill in the blanks is to go directly to the source. That means filing Freedom of Information Act requests to NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Minor Planet Center for raw observation logs, mission images, and tracking data from July through December 2025. It means searching the archives for FITS files, exposure metadata, and even failed detection attempts. Each missing entry is a lead waiting to be pursued. For researchers, space fans, and anyone invested in transparency, the next step is clear. The story of 3i slash Atlas will only be complete when every gap in the record is closed. Submitting FOIA requests, monitoring public data archives, and demanding timely updates are ways the community can hold agencies accountable. If you want to see the full picture, now is the time to act. Subscribe, stay engaged, and help turn these blank spaces into answers. On July 1, 2025, the Atlas survey confirmed the discovery of 3.i slash Atlas, only the third known interstellar object, moving at over 130,000 miles per hour. NASA's visual blackout, driven by solar geometry, left a critical gap in tracking as the object crossed within 0.19 astronomical units of Mars on October 3, 2025. Spectral data from the Very Large Telescope revealed an unusual abundance of nickel and size estimates ranged widely from 0.32 to 5.6 kilometers. Despite coordinated efforts by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Minor Planet Center, the lack of continuous observations during the blackout means key details about 3 bmi slash Atlas's precise path and physical makeup remain unknown. As of perihelion on October 29, 2025, Recovery efforts are planned for late 2025, but some data may remain classified. This event highlights both the power and limitations of planetary defense systems, and underscores the urgent need for greater transparency and international data sharing in the face of interstellar visitors.